Hey everyone, so I am back. It feels like it's been forever and it's only been a couple days, a few days. I'm not really sure, um, but it, it feels like it's been forever and I don't even know what I've missed. It could be a whole lot of nothing. It could be a whole lot of everything. You know, the internet's crazy like that. Um, before we get into it, disclaimer, I cuss in my videos. If you have any little ones around, please turn this off. Come back later on. I'd love to have you here, but I'm not, I'm not kid friendly, especially when I get angry. <laughs> I'm not going to say this is an angry video, but as I was coming on, I was just about to like see like what I missed. And the first video the first one, I was like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk about that. So that's what we're, we're here. We're going to do this. But I do have some other videos planned that I would like to do and kind of catch back up on things. And I've got to pause for just a second. No, it's... And I'm back again. See? Magic. All right. I do love having a pause button. If you've been here for a long time, you know my old phone didn't have one. So struggle was real. Like real. All right, um, and and real quick before, because I haven't I haven't went through my comments yet. You know, I, I normally try to comment back to you guys. As the more subscribers, the harder it can be. Um, but I haven't gotten there yet. But I do know a few people were, you know, sending their condolences because I lost my father-in-law. And that's why I've been gone for a couple days. And I just want to really thank you. Like, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys for being so kind and so understanding. It, it means a lot. It's it definitely wasn't easy. I mean, it's never easy to lose anyone. But it was hard. It was really hard. Um, but overall, I'm okay. Um, Norma's actually doing really good. She, she had, you know, her moment, and it, it sucked, but she's very, very strong. She's doing really, really good. So I just, you know, on a serious note before we get into all this that I'm probably just going to laugh at for stupidity, I just wanted to say thank you. You know, I, I know it. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go off on a thing real quick. I was going to try not to, but I am because I just want you guys to know like how much it really does mean to have you here and I know I'm getting close to a thousand and of course I appreciate that but a lot of people have been like oh we're gonna get you to a thousand I can't wait till you get to a thousand it's like I'm already so appreciative I always have been and I, I appreciate everyone that comes along and is willing to give me a chance and when things like this happen you know cuz I'm I've always said I'm a huge YouTube fan. I've commented, I've, you know, I've watched people and I've cared about what they're going through and I know what it's like when you're, you're leaving a comment and you just wish you could tell them that to their face. You wish you could just say like, I'm so sorry. And it, because you, you do grow to care for people, you know, when, especially when it's somebody you sit down and watch all the time, you know, it's just like, I think a lot of creators whether they actually take it for granted or not, you know, maybe, maybe they don't, but I don't think people talk about, you know, I don't think they talk about it enough, how much that really does matter. And even though I haven't gone through my comments yet, you know, I get notifications for it and I've seen what some people have said and it, they, they came at just that, that right timing where I really just felt alone and felt like, you know, knowing that other people understand what I'm going through but in that moment feeling like well nobody understands this because because I had this relationship with this person and now he's gone and it feels like so much has come into an end but you guys being there it does mean a lot it means a hell of a lot and you know I don't have a lot of friends left in my life I don't hang out and, and do a lot so it's just it really it really means a lot <laughs> and I just I want you guys to always know that and, and whether you've been here from day one whether you just subscribed like I appreciate everyone and, and if you leave 
loving, caring comments and, and support me through whatever I'm going through, like that, that means a lot. And I know it's, it's hard having like a, the relationship between subscriber and, and, and creator. I, it's hard for me to look at myself that way, but like, it, I, I understand that it's a weird relationship. It's a weird dynamic, but at the end of the day, like you guys mean a lot to me and it really did help it helped a lot you know just to to know that when I left you know for a couple days like I knew I was coming back and I would talk to you guys again and, and you would be supportive and there was never there's no question about that so yeah I really appreciate it <laughs> Huh, see now I'm getting all like emotional and we're just gonna we're just gonna get into this. So as I said, I was I was coming onto the YouTubes. I was looking for the things like what's what's been going on, what has Katie done, what is what's going on with the lawsuit, and I do know some shit went down with the lawsuit. Um so that's interesting, but got on there today <laughs> and BX Beast Boy has made another video about the Dad Challenge podcast. And I couldn't resist when I saw this. I was like, yeah, I've got to talk about it. I've got to. Because, oh my God. Now, I don't know why Josh chose to strike BX's channel over this video. I remember the video he was talking about. BX was going through Dad Challenge, like oh, his old YouTube where he had attempted to be a family vlogger and as many people know and if you don't dad challenge podcast josh goes after family vloggers he goes in like hard matter of fact one of the things i wanted to talk about was a video he made recently about a 12 year old girl pretending to be 21 for a day and oh my god but anyway so he goes after them so yeah it does it can look really bad that, hey, here's a channel where you used to try to do things like this. And maybe that is why he struck it. I, I don't know. Um, all I can say is, like, I wish he hadn't. Because here's the thing. BX's entire video was, see, I told you. Told you they're trying to cancel me. They are trying to silence me. I am a victim. <laughs> and he's like, I'm not trying to play a victim. I'm not going to use this word or that word. Like, I'm not going to say bully. I'm not going to say victim. I'm... Dude, chill the fuck out. Like, is this fucked up and wrong? Probably. Shit happens, though. Like, BX has been saying this shit for so long. Like, I, I said in my other video, you can go back on his channel video after video six months ago. And he was still a, a victim. They were trying to cancel him. No one likes the truth. And this whole video, the whole video, <laughs> it was, uh, people just don't like me telling the truth. I'm, I'm real. I'm so real. I keep it real. I tell the truth. Dude, that's not what the fuck it is. You, you don't keep it real. <laughs> you don't tell the truth. You don't take in yourself you don't hold yourself accountable and he's like <laughs> he always makes these comments and he made it in this one that uh he he's probably the most unbiased and truthful you know person covering drama on youtube i no no not at all not even in the slightest i can think of so many other people who do commentary and do drama whether you put tea in your videos and the receipts in your videos or you're just kind of like me and just want to talk about how you feel about it there are many people who do this and that are truthful and respectable and bx just isn't and i'm i'm like shaking my head at <laughs> dad challenge right now like you gave him a reason you gave him something to show to his subscribers to say here it is. I told you what was going on and no one, everybody talked shit. Everybody attacked me. Here it is. Everyone's trying to silence me because one person did one thing. And so that's, that's the reason I, I'm here. The reason I had to make a video. 
because I have made videos about BX and I'm not going to let them, him hold this up and say like, you know, here's a screenshot of dad challenge strike in my video and say that everyone else who has had an issue with him, everyone else who has made a video about him, it's all the same thing. We're all just trying to cancel BX. I don't want anyone to just be canceled, okay? It takes a lot for me to say that I feel like someone doesn't deserve their platform. You know, it. you'd have to be doing some pretty messed up shit. Even when covering Katie, I've gone back and forth. Like, she can fix this. She could do this and that. And then maybe she can still make videos. And then finally reached a point where I was like, or maybe she doesn't need to be on the internet. BX isn't one of those people to me that I feel like doesn't deserve a platform. I think he can still have a platform. I think he can still do the things that he does. Um, but a lot would need to change. There's a lot of things that, and I've, I've even went back and watched um, some of the videos, you know, really exposing what BX has done behind the scenes and his Discord and those lying X mods of his. Um, it's, it's really some shit, man. <laughs> like, he's very much like either you agree with me. Or I don't fucking want to have anything to do with you. Like, I want people who are going to tell me I'm telling, you know, I'm, I'm saying the truth and I'm, you know, never saying anything wrong. And it doesn't matter if you've been a mod for him. It doesn't matter if you've, you know, had a, a decent relationship or friendship with him. If you disagree once, you're done with him. Like, he doesn't want you around. And so... You know, I do think, like, is that something that can be changed? Is that, like, a personality trait? Is it something that is just going to be that way? Um, and at the end of the day, like, like I said, I don't want to be lumped into this, like, oh, well, because one person did something to him that looks bad, everyone else is discounted. Everyone else I have seen speak on BX had very good reason to speak on him, to talk about what he's done, to to show the other side of him, and to stand up against what he's saying, because this, this shit didn't come out of nowhere, okay? Like I said, BX has been saying for the longest freaking time, he's a victim. I'm sorry, he doesn't say that. But that everyone's trying to cancel him. That everyone just hates the truth so much. And they can't stand him telling the truth. And that's why everybody, you know, is just after him. Right? Like, I'm not after him. I don't believe it that he needs to be deplatformed necessarily. I, you know, only, only time would tell whether, you know, his wrongs can be put right. Um, and his actions can really change and his well it seems to be his views if they if that could have a shift you know as far as like needing to be right um lord i forgot where i was going with this didn't i point is like i feel like bx while i've talked about him i'm not here to cancel him i would like to see some real change but He's proven over and over and over and over that he he's not willing to change. He's not willing to listen to criticism while at the same time saying like, oh, I'll listen to real and fair criticism. But anytime it happens, anytime anyone criticizes him, he picks away at their character. They're, they're you know, I'll take criticism, but not from them, 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 them. And at the end of the day, he's just standing there alone. It doesn't matter who it is. He will find a reason why they have bad intentions. That that criticism that they gave, that wasn't just criticism. That was an attack. And I can't stand it. And so this whole thing about him being the most unbiased, the most fair, and the most truthful, I think he's the fakest person up here. Like, he is so fake. You have people who do some shit on, on YouTube, and it, and sometimes it's shady as fuck, but they own it. Um, BX is the exact opposite. He will lie until he's blue in the face. 
I take criticism. These people are after me. And and by doing this, Josh just gave him that, huh, that, like I said, that proof to just plaster it up on the screen. Look at what they're doing to me. And I had to come on camera and say, no, not me. That's not me. Josh is his own fucking person. Anyone else that talks about BX is their own person. And, you know, some I will agree with and some I won't. But at the end of the day, like, I'm not on some cancel BX hate train. I was a subscriber, as many, many other people were. And anytime you say this, it's, you're just sad fishing. I, no, no, no. Let's, let's um, get this straight. Ain't nobody got to feel sad about me. I don't give a shit that I'm not subscribed to you anymore. I don't care. The reason I shared my opinion was because I see all these other people feeling the same way and because I would hate for your channel to just go to absolute shit. You know, when you when you have someone you like and respect and they change and they do something you don't like, you point it out for a reason. It's to say, like, I used to have respect for you. I used to like you. And you would want to see that again. That's the reason. But everything according to BX is, is, he can't take it. He can't take it. Do I think Josh was right to strike the channel? Or, you know, strike the video? Just looking back on it for what it was, from what I remember it being what it was, like, no. No, I, I'm pretty sure it was fair use. I'm sure Josh looked at that video and was like, yeah, that's that's gonna fuck me up a little bit you know because <laughs> i'm like die hard going after these family vloggers and here's an example of what looks to be me trying to be a family vlogger and maybe he had bad intentions maybe there's something that i don't know maybe something else there's more to it i don't know i'm not here to support josh and what he did though i'm here to say he better had it he better have had a damn good reason to to give bx a, a reason to show everybody you know oh uh, they're they're after me they're after me see strike on my channel see it right here mm -hmm. everything i said was true because mm -hmm. no fuck no i've got nothing to do with that i ain't strike your channel i'm not here to take you off of youtube i'm here to tell you you're you're fake as fuck um you don't take criticism so that's a flat out lie I don't like what you've been doing and, and the disrespect and how you treat people is fucked up and I'm not going to just sit back and be like, well, let BX do his thing. No, fuck no. Like, because I was a subscriber, because I've seen the amount of disrespect and because it hasn't stopped, I'm not going to stop. Now, I'm not going to be a, and he, he goes, oh man, the anti-BX community. <laughs> Like, oh uh, gosh, if that's what you want to call it, fine, I don't care. I'm not going to make every video about BX, but when I see him do some shit, yeah, I'm going to talk about it. I'm not just going to let that shit go and be like, well, I've, I've talked about him in the past and that should be good enough. No, until the behavior stops, until there's some kind of shift, I don't think it's okay to stop talking. Like, if he would go back and just make videos, fine. But it's the constant disrespect and the shit talking and, and the bullshit that needs to stop. I don't care if BX spends the next 20 years making videos on YouTube. If he's just making videos on YouTube. But the the disrespect in people talking shit in the comments to, to his own subs. Like, I don't think it's okay and no, I'm not going to shut up about it. You know, does that mean that I want him canceled? No. I want to see him behave better. That's just it. And really not much else to say. Um, as soon as I saw it, I was like, dear God. You know, like, oh shit, here we go. Now he's got ammo. Now he's got a reason to say, like, yeah, it's been, they've been coming at me the whole time. So I really do hope that Josh has some legitimate fucking explanation as to why he would do that other than, hey, that looked bad on me. And, and if Josh doesn't address this, I'm going to be really disappointed in Josh. I've made videos about him. I'm not a huge Josh... Uh, words. Words are hard. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not a huge dad challenge fan. 
I, I do watch his videos more often now than I used to. I don't like the snark. I don't necessarily love how he separated the two. He was like, he's another one that I felt couldn't take criticism. And at the time, he was like, I'm going to listen. I'm going to take the criticism. Except for, <laughs> I'm going to have one channel where you guys who don't like the snark can watch. And the ones that do can watch it over here. And I was like, okay, weird, weird way to handle it. However, I found myself watching the non-snarky shit because I do agree that what the family vloggers are doing, a lot of them, um, are fucked up. Like, there, there's some shit out there that is wrong. Um, but I don't agree with them 100%. I don't agree with anybody 100%. Let's just keep that real. I don't care what genre it is. I don't care what it is on YouTube. There's never going to be one youtuber one person that i'm like everything they say is fact like i just i support i stand like that's not me you know there's gonna be things where i look at josh's content i'm like you're you're kind of reaching or maybe you're reading too far you know but there's things that i have seen from his channel where i'm like wow that's going on you know and that's what keeps me kind of paying attention to it um as far as vx you know if he would just stop the disrespect, the blatant lying, and, and talking shit to people for trying to play the victim when that's what he's doing the whole time, it's, it's the disrespect and the hypocrisy for me. That's the best I, way I can put it out there. I don't like it, and I'm going to talk about it because I'd love to see it get better. I do want people to succeed. I think BX has done, you know, if you listen to any of the people that used to be subbed to him, a lot of people enjoy his commentary and, and his outlook on things. But he fucks that up. He fucks it up for himself, really. And, and everyone who's left comments saying, you know, I like you, but, or I was subscribed, but, he just says it's, it's bullshit, it's hate, it's whatever. I understand where those people are coming from. And when you see them do some fucked up shit, you want to talk about it. So, yeah. I'm not going to not gonna stop. Am I this big anti-BX channel? Like, no. <laughs> That'll never be me. I'll never just make videos about one person or one topic. Like, I don't know. I just, I had to get that off my chest. I know this isn't like the biggest, best video back. I'm probably going to film a couple tonight. So you'll be seeing me wear my <laughs> same clothes. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm glad to be back on here. I miss talking to you guys. I appreciate the hell out of you being there while I dealt with my family stuff. And um, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.